Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In previous video, I had discussed that how can we convert the decimal number into different number systems. In this video, I am going to just do the opposite. Opposite means if any number is given in binary number system, then how can we convert that into decimal? How can we convert the octal number into decimal? And how can we convert the hexadecimal into decimal? In addition to this, I am also going to discuss that how can we convert the hexadecimal into binary, how can we convert hexadecimal to octal and vice versa. So different type of conversions we are going to discuss in this video. So if we have to convert binary, octal or hexadecimal into decimal, then what we see that the procedure for their conversions that is remaining same. Now what's that method that if number is given in binary then we have to multiply each digit of the binary by its weight. Weight means the positional weight according to the position that whether it's a zero position, first position or second position. Also if it, if it is the octal then we have to again multiply it by its positional weight same is there for the hexadecimal. Now how we decide the positional weight that is actually decided by the base of the number system. For binary the base is 2, for octal base is 8, for hexadecimal base is 16. So if the number is there at position 0 then it's 16 raised to power 0. The weight is 16 raised to power 0. If it is a at position 1, then the weight of that digit is 16 raised to power 1. For position 2, it's 16 raised to power 2. So that method we are going to use for the conversions. Again, I am going to show it all these by the example only. So let's take the example when we have a number given in binary which has both integer as well as the fractional part. So number is double one zero zero one point zero one zero one. This is a number which we need to convert into decimal number. So what we are going to do, we are multiplying all these by their respective weight. So what we see over here, this is one is having push at position zero. So it's having zero position. This is first position, second, third, fourth. This one is having position minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and minus 4. So let's start writing that how can we write. So this one is having a position weight, null weight of 2 raised to power 4. Then next one 2 raised to power 3. Then we have 0 which is having there 2 raised to power 2. Next digit is again 0 into 2 raised to power 1. Then we have 1 into 2 raised to power 0. Then 0 into 2 raised to power minus 1 plus 1 into 2 raised to power minus 2 plus 0 into 2 raised to power minus 3 plus 1 into 2 raised to power minus 4. So 2 raised to power 4 is 16. 2 raised to power 3 is 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 raised to power 0 is 1. So 1 into 1 is 1. Then again 0, 1 upon 4 is 0 0.25 plus 0, then 1 by 8 is 0 0.0625. So when we add them together, so that gives us the decimal equivalent 25.3125. So this is what we can write here 25.3125. So what we have seen that we have multiplied each digit by its positional weight. Same is done for octal conversion. The only difference is in place of 2 we will have the base 8. For hexadecimal in place of 2 we will have the weight uh, base as 16 and that is going to decide the positional weight of the digit. So let's take the example of octal to decimal conversion also. Say so number is given to us in octal number system and we need to change that into decimal. So let's take the example 
the number is 147.56 given in octal we have to change it into decimal so here one is having position weight is at position 2 4 is at 1 7 is at 0 5 at minus 1 6 at minus 2 so we are going to write 1 into 8 raised to power 2 plus 4 into 8 raised to power 1 plus 7 into 8 raised to power 0 plus 5 into 8 raised to power minus 1 plus 6 into 8 raised to power minus 2. So, first one leads to 64, then 8 into 4 is 32 plus 7 plus 5 divided by 8 is 0 0.625, 5 divided by 6, uh, then 6 divided by 64 is 0 0.9375, which gives us the answer as 103.11875. So, this one is the decimal equivalent of 147.56, which is given in octal. So, last conversion in this case is if we have to convert hexadecimal number to decimal number. So, let us take the example when hexadecimal number given to us is 1c.2b. This is what we are going to change into decimal number. So, firstly we need to write the decimal equivalents of the alphabets c is written as 12 and b is written as 11 c is at position 0 1 is at position 1 so we have 1 into 16 raised to power 1 plus 12 into 16 raised to power 0 plus 11 into 16 raised to power minus 1 plus 2 into 16 raised to power minus 2 so which is equal to 16 plus 12 plus 0.6875 plus 0 0.078125 which gives a decimal equivalent of this 1c.2b as 28.6953125 so this is our answer for this hexadecimal to binary conversion Oh, sorry hexadecimal to decimal conversion now let's take the example that if we have to convert octal number into binary number or hexadecimal to binary how can we do that so if we have to convert octal to binary so binary is having a base of 2 octal is having base of 8 8 can be written as 2 raised to power 3 so, what we can do, we can represent each octal digit by 3 bit binary number. Now, what is the meaning of 3 bit binary number? If we have any number 156.17 given in octal, we have to convert this into binary. So, what we are going to write, we are going to write 1 by 3 bit binary number 3 bit binary number means in binary 1 is written as 1 but 3 bit means 0 0 1 5 is 1 0 1 so that is 3 bit representation 6 is double 1 0 1 is again 0 0 1 7 is triple 1 now what we see over here so if we go back to the number system there we see that up to 7 which is actually the octal number re representation the maximum number of bits which are required to represent any binary number they are 3 so that's why the octal number system can be represented by 3 bit binary number so this is how we can write so this one is actually binary equivalent of 156.17 which is given in octal number system it's very easy Similarly, if we have to convert hexadecimal to binary, that's again 
quite an easy one because hexadecimal has base of 16 which is 2 raised to power 4 binary has weight of 4 so binary has base of 2 hexadecimal 16 which is 2 raised to power 4 so any hexadecimal number can be represented by 4 bit binary number now again if we do the comparison the last uh, alphabet which is there in hexadecimal that is f which can be written as 1111 1, 1, 1 in the binary so that requires 4 bits so for representing any hexadecimal number we always need to express that number by 4 bit binary equivalent so let's take the example of a97.1 Let's say it is given in hexadecimal, we have to change it to binary. So, what we are going to do, we are going to write the 4 bit equivalents of each number. A is actually 10. 10 means 1010. 0, 0. 9 is 1001. 1. 7 is 0111. Then B is 11, which is 1011. 1, 1. And 1 is 0001. 0, 0, 1. So this is the binary equivalent. So this is quite an easy one. Otherwise, if you want to go with the larger, longer method, then you can convert this. Firstly, convert the hexadecimal into decimal. Then you can change that into binary. But this is quite an easy way. And this actually facilitates us in writing the hexadecimal equivalent of octal and or hexadecimal octal equivalent of any hexadecimal number. So let's take their example also. If we are given with any hexadecimal number system and we need to change that into octal. Hexadecimal is given to us, we need to change that to octal. How can we do that? Let's take the example that we have A 23.1 B, which is given in hexadecimal, we need to change it into octal. One way out is that change this hexadecimal number into decimal, then change it into octal. But the easiest way is that write the equivalent four bit equivalents of these hexadecimal numbers and then change that to octal. How can we do that one? A is written as 1010, 1, 2 is written as 0010, 0, 0, 3 is 0011, 0, 1 is 0001, and B is 1011. Now, what we need to do, we need to start make pairing of 3 3 because we need to change this into octal. So, for the integer part, we have to start with the LSB that make pairs of 3. Then make pair of 3, 3 and 3. Then we can write their octal equivalents like 101 one is 5, 000 is 0, 100 is 4, 011 is 3. For the Fractional part we have to start with the MSB 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Now, what we see we are left with only two digits over here, so we can add 0 here because after decimal, if we are adding 0, that is not making any significant contribution. So, then make pair of 3 0, 0, 0, this is 0, double 1, 0 is 6, double 1, 0 is 6. So, octal equivalent of this hexadecimal number is A to 3.1B can be written as 5043.066 in octal. So, basically, firstly, what we are doing, we are changing the hexadecimal into binary, then we are converting that binary into octal. So, if we have to convert any binary into octal, what we need to do, we need to start make pairing of 3, 3 digits. For the fractional part, we always need to start with the pairing from the LSP. For the fractional part, we have to start with the 
MSP and vice versa is done for octal to hexadecimal. So any octal number is given to us. How can we change that into hexadecimal? Firstly, we are going to write the <coughs> three bit binary equivalent of these octal numbers. Then we are going to make pairs of four four bits which will give us the hexadecimal number. So 7 is written as triple 1, 2 is 0, 1, 0, 6 is double 1, 0, 1 is 0, 0, 1, 6 is double 1, 0. Now let's make the pair of 4, 4 bits. Basically, what we had done, we have converted the octal into binary. Now we need to do the conversion from binary to hexadecimal. For binary to hexadecimal, what we need to do, make the pairs of 4, 4 bits starting with lsb for the integer part 4 then next 4 so what we see over here we have only one left so we are going to add three zeros before this because that are not going to change its value so triple zero one is one double one zero one is actually d and zero one zero is six for the fraction part we have to start with the msb Make the pair of 4 bits, double zero, double one, which is 3. Then we are left with only 2 bits, so we need to add 2 zeros here. So this 1 triple zero is 8. So the hexadecimal equivalent of this number is 1d6.38 in hexadecimal. So this octal to hexadecimal or hexadecimal to octal conversion that actually utilizes the binary to octal or binary to hexadecimal conversion also. So I hope this video is helpful for you. If you like this video, do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching the video.